Hi, my name is Jennifer Cooper with JKC Mobile Notary and welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that little bell so you do not miss notary business building content that I bring to you weekly. We talk about notary business. We talk about female entrepreneurship. We talk about a little bit of lifestyle and a little bit of everything in between. So if it's something you're interested in, get plugged into our community so we can share it together. Okay, today's interview, one of our heavy hitters, one of the contributors to the resource page. I am so excited for you to meet Jen Neitzel of the Signing Agent Marketing. She is fantastic. You guys are going to love her if you don't already. And so I don't know what else to say, except let's get started because if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go meet Jen. Hi, everybody. It's Jen with JKC Mobile Notary and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm super duper excited because I get to interview probably one of my favorite people in my notary industry. Um, it's such a treat. So Jen Neitzel, thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you I, for that introduction. I love I that. <laughs> tell people about you. So, um, so okay, let me just get into it. So I'm joined by Jen Neitzel. She's an amazing, talented, and dedicated notary public, public speaker, coach for notary entrepreneurs, creator of signing agent marketing, and co-founder of the Notary Business Builders, and co-founder of something I want to get into, the 76262 Networking Group, and so yeah. much more. She's here today as part of my Notary Heavy Hitter series. She's a leader in our industry and one of the most amazing human beings you'll ever get to meet. Jen, I'm so, 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 so happy that you're here. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm like, I pat myself on my own back after hearing all that. My goodness. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> well, you're pretty awesome. And I'm, I told, I told my husband, I'm really excited about today because we get to talk a lot because yeah. of our affiliation with NBB and just our relationship. And I just enjoy it every time we get to. And so it's a little formalized now, but it'll still be fun. Of course it will. It's us. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're ready, I kind of want to get right into it. Let's dive into it. I am absolutely ready. I got okay. my coffee here. I'm good to go. Ready to go. <laughs> okay. So I just want to start with, can you give us a snapshot view of who Jen Neitzel is? Well, I would say first I'm a wife and mom. Um, I have four kids um, three are out of the house. One is in the house. So um, we're slowly getting them off the payroll one by one. So that's the first most important thing. And um, for my my work, I guess, is my passion for helping notaries all across the country. And that takes on several different forms, a lot of which you said in the opener between signing agent marketing and notary business builder. And of course, my affiliation with Bill Soroka and Laura Bewer as well. They're some of my favorite people too. So I love this group. I love it. Can you tell me about your journey to becoming a notary for the first time? Oh yeah. So I became a full-time notary, a mobile notary in 2017. I was laid off from a mortgage job that I had, a mortgage operations job. And I loved that job. I absolutely loved that job. It was the best job I'd ever had. I was able to, in mortgage, uh, which had been my career. Uh, since going back to work after being a stay-at-home mom for about 11 years. Um, I loved going to work every day. I loved the people I worked with. I got to travel a little bit. It was just perfect. And then uh, rates started to tick up. This was in 2017. Um, so as happens in the mortgage industry, um, layoffs are prevalent when uh, rates start to go back up. I was working for a consumer direct company at the time, which primarily handled wholesale mortgages and refinances. So when those rates starts to tick up, as we've all learned over the last couple of years, uh, mortgage companies will lay people off. And it had in my mortgage career actually been the third layoff I had been through. Wow. Um, third time I had been laid off. Um, at, at a either between a 10 to 25 percent uh, company reduction. So it was like mass layoffs, right? It wasn't like a one on one thing. So the third time it happens with a job that you absolutely love, right? I was devastated, wow. devastated. Okay. And I just I was 45 years old, 44, 45 years old. And I thought, to myself after pouting for about a good week and <laughs> right. even myself to sleep every night and all the things, right. Yeah. I just, I was like, I can't keep going in back to this business because it's feast or famine when it's, when business was great and interest rates were low, 
I was beating offers off with a stick. Yeah. And then when rates started to tick up, you walk in the building, every, everybody in mortgage will understand this. You walk into the building every day wondering, am I going to have a job today? Yeah. And it's just too much. And so I really started to give some thought and I took about three months uh, to give some thought to what would it look like if I started my own business? What business would I be interested in pursuing? Mm -hmm. And mobile notary came up. Um, I had hired mobile notaries in the past and that was just all I knew about them, right? (laughs) Um, I did not have great experiences with mobile notaries in the past. I, um, I had one, I tell the story a lot, so you might've heard it, Jen, but I had a, a mobile notary that was at the signing table with one of my customers, um, who told them if they had gone with bank of America, they could have gotten a better interest rate than the one I offered them. I've so never heard that story. I kindly asked my customer if I could speak to that mobile notary who, as you can imagine, never worked for the company I worked for. <laughs> oh my, how illegal. Oh my gosh. That. Yeah. Besides being disrespectful. My gosh. Yeah. So I started looking around. I was on Indeed all the time, seeing what was out there, what kind of opportunities were around. And truthfully, I just didn't want to work for anybody else anymore. And I had the luxury, and I do understand and realize it is a luxury of having a second income with my husband and being able to, to find it with his encouragement, say, I want to start my own business. I want to pursue being a mobile notary because I felt like it was kind of a niche market. Like this can be done better. Yeah. This can be done more professionally. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I want this challenge. Like this is really going to be a great challenge for me. I live in Dallas, Fort Worth. So I live in a city um, um, you know, I, the suburb I live in, I can pretty much get anywhere in DFW in 30 minutes. Yeah. So it's a great central location. So all the stars were just kind of aligning yeah. and I decided, uh, to pursue it and thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go and see what happens now. Full disclosure. Um, <laughs> I think it took me a good, it took me a good two years to feel fully secure in in my bit well you know what that's not even true because I don't even think today I'm fully fully secure because we just never know right what could happen yeah solopreneur we have so many doubts Mm -hmm. um that it doesn't matter what level of whether you're a brand new notary or you have a national platform like I do or anywhere in between there's always you know doubts and worries so but it really took me a, a good two years to feel like, okay, you can stop spending your evenings on on uh, LinkedIn and Indeed looking for other things. <laughs> and you, this is going to pan out, yeah. Right. I, here's what here's what I'll say. Uh, it took me two years to realize I was completely unemployable by anybody else <laughs> except myself. <laughs> so we do kind of become that, right? When we become our own yeah. our oh, own yeah. bosses. Yeah. And and in your story about becoming a notary out of um, the industry you came out of and out of being let go multiple times the, from that industry is, is common. You hear it a lot. Very common. Very common. And, and being, um, having a job removed from you, it does spur sometimes the, in the ideas of having to be your own boss, especially when it's it happened more than once. I can't and hire me. You know, it's a tough industry to parlay into something else too. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like it's not, it, it's, it's a difficult thing to say, you know, what else can I do in the more, you know, with this, all this knowledge I have and right. really, unless it's working for Fannie Mae and in the compliance department, right. right. Which yep. do, that's so boring. <laughs> um, yeah. It's difficult. I have, I, I have several friends right now that have been in mortgage for 25 and 30 years that have been unemployed for six and seven months because they can't find anything out there. These are, you know, from processors to high level executives, this is, I mean, it's, it is a difficult industry to work in. So I'm glad I got out of it, but it definitely gave me a lot of great contacts. Yeah. um, A lot of great. And Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And it probably, and Sue said this the other day about her arc being a little shorter because of the industry she came from. It probably was the same for you once you got into loan signings as well. It it was, I mean, I did have, you know, contacts that I was able to draw on, but the truth of the matter is when, 
when you're starting out, and this is not something that people don't really talk about a lot. They're afraid to say this out loud. Yeah. I was embarrassed about going in and marketing my business to people that I knew. Well, yeah, that's not I like you embarrassing. Oh, no, you, you've worked with these people. I bet, yeah. it, I bet it was a huge challenge to do that. It was a big challenge. So um, it, it, but it sure did teach me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and that helps me, you know, grow into other things as well. So yeah. it's all, it's all the journey, right? It's yeah. all about the journey. Right. Well, in that, in that whole time frame of you becoming a notary, getting over the embarrassment of having to market yourself to your peers, um, when did you realize that marketing was super important to your business? So when I started, I made the decision, I did, I got on YouTube, just like everybody else. I got on YouTube. I started looking around. I knew nothing about how to get into this, um, except I had one contact at what used to be called um, Lanier Title. Can't remember what they're called now. They're out of South Florida though. Uh, signature something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But um, he was, I thought, going to be a shoe in to help me get jobs and stuff because I, like everybody else heard, you got to sign up for 150 signing services. And then the jobs will just be rolling in and you'll be, you know, shoving money under your mattress. You're going to be so rich from this, right? Like that's how this all starts. Right. And the first time I realized I needed to get into direct marketing for my business was the first time I accepted a job from a signing service. And I looked at that closing disclosure and I saw the notary uh, line on there on page three and it said $300 going to the, for notary services. And I was only getting 125 of it. And I thought, oh, hell no, <laughs> I want all 300. <laughs> that, that should be going to me. I'm doing the work if I do yeah. the work. Right. Yep. Um, so that was the first time I realized like, Hey, I, I can't rely on these signing services. I need to get out and build these relationships on my own. And so I did. Well, and I, and I think when, when notaries who are loan signing agents learn to read that disclosure, it does spur that question in their mind. How can I get all of that as opposed to half of that? Oh yeah. And this was the first assignment I got. The um, first one. Well, this is your business. So you're looking at this documents, like, you know, you know how to read them, right? So one of my past read. jobs was running a closing department. So I knew, oh, I know how to read yeah. closing disclosure. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish it just didn't occur to me. How much money was being kept? Right. How right. much they were keeping? Yeah. The signing service specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, can you, let's talk about how you started SAM or signing agent marketing. And when uh, you started it from when you started, when you became a notary to when you started the, your course. I, so I became a notary in 2017, a full-time notary. And then I uh, launched SAM in July of 2019. Mm, okay. And I really, um, <laughs> I, it was never my intention or plan to launch a program like that. Mm -hmm. um, it started um, because I made that decision after looking at that CD, that closing disclosure, I need to get out and start building these relationships, leveraging the relationships I already have, which, like I said, was a lot harder than the ones I, uh, people I didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, I felt more comfortable talking to people I didn't know than the ones I knew. And because people, you know, tend to judge you, right? right. Oh yeah. Um, and I wasn't secure yet. I didn't have clarity and what it was I, I was doing. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I started going out marketing my business. Um, if you look up the name of my business, the legal name of my business, it's actually Neitzel Notary DBA, a piece of cake notary. <laughs> because in the beginning, I, I thought I had to have a hook. Yeah. And I was going to use my sister-in-law who agreed she was, she's a professional baker. Mm -hmm. She was going to have cupcakes ready all the time. And I was going to take cupcakes to my closings for my clients. And that was going to be my calling card. And it was going to be a piece of cake notary, which of course is a play on words. Like if you work with me, yeah. it's a piece oh, yeah. of cake, right? <laughs> yeah. I thought that was brilliant. And um, so that's actually the legal name of my company. I never, never once used that by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I brought this notebook with me when I went out to, to market and yes, I was bringing cupcakes, uh, very quickly. My sister-in-law got tired of spending every evening at my house baking. 
um, because they signed up for all those signing companies. So these jobs were just rolling in. Right. And yeah. Right. So uh, I had to start baking, <clears throat> which was a disaster. Um, I am not a baker. I can cook anything, but uh, I am not a baker. Mm-hmm. So I realized I needed to come up with another way to engage people when I was talking to them. The cupcakes weren't going to do it. So I came up with what I now call a pop-in. Right. It's just a little mesh bag that has a branded pen, some branded post-it notes, some mints, and my business cards. Mm. And I would also do themed things that I would just pick up at the dollar store for a holiday. Like right now we're close to Easter time, spring time. I might have put in a few Easter eggs with some Hershey's Kisses in them or something. Just something yeah. little. Yeah. Um, and I started literally knocking on title company doors and I felt embarrassed and I felt humiliated a lot of times. And I stumbled over my words and I said the wrong things and I could hear my voice cracking and I, you know, all of these things. And what I did a little differently, um, was when I got back in my car to help me work through those feelings and not feel embarrassed before going to the next stop. Right. Uh, was I would write down the mistakes because journaling has always been something that's helped me process and work through my feelings. And so that I didn't feel or come off as feeling negative when I went into the second office in between, I would write down, okay, this is what you did wrong. Um, You called the escrow officer, Jane, even though her name was Susie, you, (laughs) um, you know, you forgot to get business cards. You, Um, you know, whatever, it, whatever it is, you know, that I would just kind of write it down. And then at the end of the day, after visiting four five, six title offices, I would kind of come home and, and think about what can I do differently next time? And so after about a year and a half of that, that's where Sam kind of came to be because a pattern emerged mm-hmm. about, you know, successful relationships Right. Um, and how to take them from initially meeting someone and engaging them with a small, inexpensive gift. Mm-hmm. Uh, because like everybody else, I I thought in the beginning that that's pen and, and post-it note were going to automatically make me their favorite signing agent, which is a silly oh, thing. To no, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we all think that in the beginning, we put so much effort into those. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I just, I saw this pattern emerge that uh, was uh, what ended up being the five point marketing system was signing agent marketing. Awesome. Now, the other thing happening at the time was I had partnered with um, a, a notary here in the DFW area, and we were had te- we had developed um, a loan signing class. Mm. We taught it once. Um, we had a disagreement about one of the documents and when it should be presented, and. Right this person got really upset with me and decided to cut ties, um, but decided to keep the information we created together without giving me any credit for it. Oh, Um, and this was a person that like, didn't know how to use PowerPoint. Didn't, you know, so like the technical side, which Jen, you know, I'm not like the most technical person, but (laughs) I was able to do that. Right. So, um, I was a little upset about that. And the, the idea of I'm going to put this out into the world, this five point system and just kind of see what happens. I didn't know anything about SEO and Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about any of that. Um, Just, just see what happens. It was sort of my way of kind of sticking my tongue back out and be like, Oh yeah, Yeah. you want to just want to teach it in Dallas. Well, I'm going to take this thing, you know, to every notary across the country. And it was sort of my like, "Mm," you know, (laughs) So a combination of those two things yeah. uh, is what got me to, to put it out into the world. So I, I, that's exactly what I did. I came up with signing agent marketing and threw it up and said, here's my five point marketing system. If it works for me, mm-hmm. it's going to work for somebody else. Was it initially just a, a member? Was it a membership to start with or was it a series of classes or was it, was it just this, your five points? No, it actually started as a membership. Um, It started with um, me actually doing monthly classes 
mm-hmm. teaching the five point marketing system every month, as well as an ask me anything time once a month, it has morphed into a self-paced right. um, class. <clears throat> That's why it's so inexpensive. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, it started off at $10 a month. Wow. Bill told me I was crazy. He was like, you're insane. <laughs> That's so m- little money. And in my head, I'm like, I'm just trying to see if this is yeah. going to fly. You know, I, I don't know if it's even going to work. Right. So I just want to see, I want to get some people in the door and see what they think about it. Um, it, and you know, even today it's only still 20 bucks a month to join for, I think it's over 70 videos. Um, it's all video-based learning. Um, and, uh, well, I know we're going to get into the particulars and other things on there, but, um, yeah, now it is a self-based learning, uh, marketing program. Gotcha. Who, um, well, I, I, you already kind of answered this question about when you decided that other notaries needed to know how to do this. I imagine you feeling that way was enough to think most other people could, could be feeling that way and could be using, use yeah. tips and tricks that you're developing that, because we are not all mind, mindful. We're not all thoughtful when we go, I'm going to tell you right now, when I run into, you know, when I went into my first title office, I didn't come out and have a thoughtful moment about it. I was still hyperventilating. Yeah. So I didn't write a note down. Can I sit here right now and tell you my first experiences doing that? Barely. So the fact that you took the steps to process your feelings and process your fears and process those things. And then what it turned into, I'm, I'm curious if you had any idea in your mind, I know you just put it out to see what happens. Did you have a goal? I want 10 people to join this. I want 20 people to join this. A hundred people was my goal. A hundred people. Yeah. How did you get there? That was it. I was like, if I get a hundred people, a hundred other notaries, then I'm good. I mean, it never occurred to me. <laughs> like I said, I didn't know anything about SEO. Right. Um, I didn't know anything about blogging to bring customers in. I didn't know anything about giving away a freebie. I didn't, and none of that stuff. It was literally throw this out into the world and post it on my social media and post it on some notary Facebook groups um, and see what happens. It was just an experiment in um, I'm going to put this out there because I think it helped me. This pattern helped me. I wish somebody had told me about these five points before I started going out. Yeah. It saved me a year and a half of frustration and um, just that constant uh, rolling around in my head of, oh, you should have done it this way. You should have done that. You should have brought this. You should have said that, you know, all those things that go through our head that we just beat ourselves up about. Um, the journaling part in between was just, that's how I was taught to process my emotions right right and to keep them under control. And, and so it like from that, it just was very organic on how it came to be. And where does it stand now? You still we, still, we are still out there. Signing agent marketing still Thanks. out there. Like I said, we morphed into um, a self-taught um, marketing program. We still teach the five points. Um, there's obviously many other benefits that we'll get into, um, but it's 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 functioning on its own, which I love. Um, but it's also going through, and this is kind of behind the scenes info, I guess, but it's also going through a bit of a, a revamp. Um, I am trying to get some things updated because our industry has changed. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't teach what you've always taught when things are changing, you've got to stay with the times. Right. So I am kind of actively going through a little bit of a, of a revamp, a revamp with it. Gotcha. Well, we talked about the course is $20 is yeah. Um, and it's like self-taught video-based learning. Are there any extra goodies they get for being members? Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's a monthly calendar that goes out that every business day of the month has a marketing idea on it from something to put in your pop in some way to get involved in your community, some way to engage with different groups of people in your community, things to put on your social media, Um, all and and LinkedIn, all different kinds of ideas every single business day of the month. And then if there's, um, you know, some months like last month was, or was it February or March was women's history month. Yeah. Yeah, You know, put some different things uh, in about, you know, different months that happen. Um, So that comes out every single month. Um, There's also a 30 minute session that you get with me anytime you want it. I have 
three afternoons a week open. Um, you can go on to the booking calendar uh, mm -hmm. and you can book a 30 minute session with me and we'll talk about a specific marketing plan for your city because not everybody lives in a big city. Right. Some people live in a smaller town and they need different yeah. kinds of guidance. And over the years I've learned from talking to other SAM members mm -hmm. uh, and other notaries, how the little differences in where we live play a part in how we need to be um, marketing. So you actually have access to a 30 minute session whenever you want. Mm -hmm. And I do have people that book, you know, once a month, once a week, just for accountability. Yeah. Um, I love ha helping notaries stay accountable to their goals because as a solopreneur, we don't have that. Yeah, it's true right? because solo is the word that goes with that. We're on our own. So well, yeah, ab absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the thing I try to maintain with signing agent marketing and um, notary business builder. Uh, I know we're going to talk about that as well, but Accessibility, I think, is really, really important. And I try very hard to make sure that I'm accessible for anyone that has questions, um, needs some guidance, you know, just that wants to run an idea by me that, you yeah. know, what do you think of this? Yeah. Um, and we work those things out together. I, as someone who has used that benefit of bouncing ideas off of you, who has access to that monthly calendar that comes out, by the way, is gold that just alone is gold. So I'm excited about uh, sharing this program with, especially with newer notaries who aren't sure how to get their self out there. So that's awesome. I want to know what is the 76262 networking group? 76262 is a zip code here in Texas. Mm -hmm. It's in the, um, Roanoke Trophy Club area. Trophy Club sounds very hoity-toity to people that don't live in Texas, but <laughs> it happens to be where I raised my kids and they went okay. through the, I, we lived there for 14 years, 15 years, um, until we moved to a, you know, a different suburb that we're in now. And um, I was very involved with the community, knew lots and lots of people. It's grown exponentially over the years, but um, I had met a loan officer there and she had started a website or excuse me, a Facebook group called 76262 Real Estate Networking. Gotcha. And through that, she created this huge group. I mean, there was thousands of people in the area that had joined. Wow. And she just called me one day and she said, I'm really thinking about starting a networking group and inviting all these people from the Facebook group to come in and let's get these people networking. Let's build businesses. Wow. Said, but I need you because I'm not, she wasn't comfortable standing in front of a crowd with a microphone and you know me, give me a microphone and I'm a happy girl. So <laughs> I don't mind a bit <laughs> now. I used to hate it. Now I love it. Yeah. Uh, but she's like, I need a voice. I need somebody that can get up and, you know, do the raffles and uh, that we encourage and talk about the charities that we were right. helping and, you know, introduce the speaker that we had, all those things. So that's really, she just, she was like, I need a big mouth. You want to help? And I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, so it's, it's been a really fun um, experience, just growing it from the ground up and the pains of finding the right spot to meet with a group of people post pandemic. That was tough. Yeah. Um, getting people out to want to meet and um, just, you know, helping people build their businesses in the area. It's take, we have a consistent um, 30 to 40 people come every month. Uh, oh, it's been a great. Good. Yeah. It's been a great experience. We're in year two now, solidly in the middle of year two. And uh, it's just, no, wait, we just started year three. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> we just started year three. I'm in year two. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, it's been a really fun, I've learned so much. I've learned so much from it too. You're still involved with that. I am. I am. I'm not going as regularly. In fact, one of the notaries that come that was coming regularly, um, that is also um, a SAM member and a notary business builder, um, she has kind of taken, I kind of deputized her. I said, I need your help with this yeah. uh, because I'm doing so many different things right now. I'm not always able to get away, um, especially with conferences coming up, travel season is starting to begin, you know, all that kind of thing. So she is helping me. I'm not getting there as much as I'd like, but I get there anytime I can. It's just fun to hang out with other business owners. 
agree. And creating that community is really, it's pretty powerful for just your own individual business building. Um, well, I want you to talk about your thoughts on the value of having a local network of peers in your industry. One of my goals in this business, I, you know how passionate I am about the notary business and supporting notaries, period. Yeah. But one of my overall goals, long-term goals, is to move past this idea that other notaries are competition. Bring it. Yeah. It's okay. so limiting. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's incorrect. I mean, I thought that too. I know you thought it. We all thought it in the beginning. It's a normal way of thinking. Mm -hmm. I want all the business, right? Well, the reality is <laughs> um, every title office, attorney's office, senior facility, um, they need more than one notary because you can't be everywhere all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to get sick. You're going to go on vacation. You're going to be booked already when they call you because again, you're a solopreneur. So having a community of other notaries that you've spent time getting to know and you're cultivating honest relationships with, it gives you the opportunity to still service your client by referring them to a job that you're unable to perform. I've actually gotten Google business profile reviews, a five-star review, not because I completed the job, but because I referred somebody else to complete the job because I was already booked. People yeah. appreciate referrals. And <clears throat> because you're helping them, even if you didn't do the service for them, you still help get that service handled. Yeah. I'm keeping them from making multiple phone calls, yep. searching online. And I'm saying, look, you found me. You felt comfortable and this is not the conversation I had, but this is what, <laughs> you know, the overall. You, yeah. Yeah. You felt comfortable enough to trust me, to call me. Therefore you have some comfort level, right. And you're still engaged in a conversation with me. Let me give you a resource and get this set up for you. And of course, if they say they're not interested, I don't, but I've never, I don't think I've ever experienced that. Most people do appreciate yeah. being uh, given a referral like that. So it's so important to get together with notaries uh, in your area and you may not connect right away with the first ones you meet, but you will eventually. Yep. Groups like yours, Jen, that you're doing is Some my best friends in the world are out of that group right now that I've built, built relationships with out of my networking group. So yeah, I agree it's with so you 100%. Yeah, it's so important. And just for the the support mm -hmm. when when you're having a day and you just need somebody to complain to. There's, there's something missing when you're sitting at lunch with somebody who's not a notary or a loan signing agent, and you start complaining about a specific situation at a loan signing that only a notary or loan signing agent would know about and would get, and would be able to commiserate with you about, there is something missing in the general public that doesn't know about what we do. So having a network of people that know what we do just right. gives Gives us well, it's the thing when you hear about notaries, like, well, you just stamp a piece of paper, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, there's some notaries out there that think that too, unfortunately. Yes. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it's 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 having someone that can relate to what you're going through without having to explain the intricacies of the job, right? And going into all the backstory and all that. So, yeah, I have found, um, the relationship with other notaries to be one of the absolute best that, that, that mindset of notaries being competition was one of the absolute best things that I got rid of. And, you know, just shove that aside and dove deep into making friends and referral partners. And it's been great. Awesome. All right. I want to shift gears. I want us to get into NBB. Woohoo! My <laughs> favorite subject, notary <laughs> business builder. What is NBB? I know it's notary business builders, but what is it? So I'm going to read you our kind of mission statement, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> because NBB is so big and so much and so detailed. It is really difficult to sum up in one sentence. Yeah. But I think we got close with this. So notary business builder is an elite community of advanced notary entrepreneurs that are committed to building a successful business in any economy by leveraging authentic sharing technology and cultivating authentic, deeper relationships. Wow. That is our, that is our line, right? So great line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
as an NBC <laughs> member, telling I can tell you that's a great line. <clears throat> yeah, it's a tough thing to talk about or describe because it is such a layered um, community. Yeah, um, there's teaching, there's uh, coaching, there's um, certifications and different things. Um, it's just so very layered uh, with what it offers. What I I about what it offers? <laughs> yeah, no, but I meant we're gonna we'll get into that a little bit. But I mentioned at the intro that you um, were a founder. What role did you play in? Um, founding NBB? Yeah, I love this question because um, it really started off as what I jokingly refer to as a bromance. <laughs> so uh, Bill Soroka, who I had met here in Dallas uh, when he came for a Legal Shield convention, actually, um, he, <clears throat> I want to say we met in 2017 or 2018. It's very early on. And uh, we we realized very quickly upon our meeting in person that we both believed very strongly that relationships were the foundation of any business, that we needed to move away from this idea of signing service, signing service, signing service. And we kept in touch over the years and, you know, grew closer as time went on and, and started becoming friends. And I called him one day and I said, you know, the thing that Sam, signing agent marketing is missing is a customer relationship manager component. That's what it's missing. Because one of the steps, one of the five steps is following up and then sending out a monthly communication right. to the people that you meet. Right. Like we're, that's what we're missing. And he had developed the Tom app, top of mind method app. So we had Sam and Tom. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, these two need to come together, have a little bromance. How can we make that happen, right? And he saw the opportunity there and yeah. we just started talking about, okay, what is, what would this look like if we merged Sam and Tom? What, what if they did get married? What would that look like? Right. And I would say this was in March of 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. March of 2020. And we were having regular phone calls about it. We could do this. We could incorporate that. Da, da, da. And he called one day out of the blue and he said, I, I had an idea. What if we just, instead of just focusing on marketing and the CRM component, what if we created a place for notaries to go that have been doing this for a long time, but they can go get higher level kind of training and coaching? said, oh my God, that's brilliant. You're right. Like we could do way more than just focus on Sam and the CRM. Right. Uh, and then this bromance We, you know, there is no place. I fervishly got on my laptop. Like, let me see, is there a place to go for advanced notaries that had been in the business for three and four years that were doing this regularly that did not just come in during the pandemic um, and and got out as soon as interest rates went up. But people that looked at this as their livelihood, as their career, that they wanted to maintain um, the you know this business for themselves over the long haul. And we started thinking, what well, what 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 do you need? Well, you need somebody to talk to you about SEO. Mm -hmm. So we brought in an SEO expert. Yes. You need someone to talk to you about marketing. So that was my part. We need someone to um, talk about specialty notary work. And so we brought in the goat, Laura Beaver. Laura Beaver. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's been doing, uh, she's been a part of the notary industry and works for the National Notary Association uh, for 19 years. Yeah. She knows about specialty notary work, which includes attorneys, trust signings. Um, hospitals, those kinds of things that are beyond just a general um, notary right. appointment. We thought, well, there's a ton of people um, doing reverse mortgages. So we brought in Nina Penny to talk about uh, reverse mortgages and go through her certification program. I'm in that program right now. Are you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we needed somebody to teach about content, what you can put on your social media 
uh, to advertise your business and talk about your business? What do you write about on your blog? So we brought in Zion Brock, who teaches content marketing and advanced distribution through email and social media. LinkedIn is a huge professional um, machine that notaries need to be using. We brought in Sandra Long uh, to teach about, you know, the specifics of branding yourself on LinkedIn. Like I said, we brought in Tyler Botsford with Green Monkey Marketing to teach us about SEO and digital marketing. Mm -hmm. We have all of Bill's um, teachings, which is the Sign and Thrive course, mm -hmm. his Morning Mastery, everything, and his full top of mind method, everything he's done. We needed somebody to talk about Apostees. So of course, we went mm -hmm. to the best and Judy, yep. Lawrence. She's the, the queen of Apostee. Yep. Needed somebody to talk about accounting. So we went to the best uh, person that we know, which is Sue Hope, teaching yep. a, a notary assist. A full notary assist membership is included with an NBB membership. Yep. And this is all just the 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 teaching right. of it, right? These are just your what we call faculty right. members. I haven't even talked uh, about Tom. <laughs> right. Amazing. Uh, yeah. We have the Tom app that has been optimized um, for that authentic, authentic sharing, sorry, technology. Um, it is an excellent prospecting app. It was actually born from uh, the idea that Legal Shield uses. We we um, worked with the same company that developed Legal Shield's prospecting app. And it is the kind of app where you can communicate with your customers with pre a prepared pipeline of content that we've created for you. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to share with them authentically, meaning it comes directly from your email address or your phone number. It's not spam. Right. And that's so important these days because Absolutely. we all get the spam junk, right? Yeah. Stay long. Yeah. Yeah. So there's 20 live teaching calls a month on average. There's so much learning to choose from. You could quit your job. <laughs> you could, really good. you shouldn't, but you could. Yeah. Oh, you could. <laughs> um, there's the, the app, which by the way, this year is free in 2030. I there's know. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. There's, there's a, everybody, a little bit of a peek into under the hood of this amazing, just a piece of this amazing, um, product that you guys have. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's free in 23. Now you don't have access to all the tools that paid members have um, for the free version, but it gives you an idea how the app works. And we do provide you with a pipeline for general notary work. Yep. And what that means is after you've serviced, even before you've serviced someone, you can send them um, an introductory video that we've created, or you can create your own and upload it. You add their contact information in, you can send them a follow-up email, you can send them an, an email campaign to stay in touch with them for the whole year. It also comes, this is the coolest feature that I love and I use <laughs> all the time is my digital business card. Yep. And I can upload that with my Facebook page, my LinkedIn page, my, um, my Instagram, my website, ah. you know, information about my networking group. I mean, you can load it with all these things that you're involved in and share it with your customers so they can one touch, put you in the phone and never have to search for another notary because they have your information. Yep. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> You, you touched on it a little bit at the beginning, but who is the right notary to join NBB? Is this a newbie notary set up for brand spanking it, notaries? It can be. It, it can be. Um, I think in the beginning, we were thinking that we wanted to focus directly on the two, three, four-year notaries uh, and above. Right. But because we have Sign and Thrive, that is a learning program for loan signing agents. We have some more beginner programs as a part of Notary Business Builder. It's really morphed into a place for anybody, any notary that wants to move away from being dependent yeah. on signing services and wants to learn how to grow their business naturally. 
And it's not just the marketing piece of it. It's the mindset. It's your mindset. It's, it's learning about, uh, I'm hosting uh, calls this month. We're talking about health and wellness. Yeah. I'm excited about that. How it's so easy for us as notaries to fall victim to unhealthy habits, like running through a drive through because we're pressed for time. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's become this safe, non, you know, judgment-free zone, um, where we help hold each other accountable at our weekly accountability call. Mm -hmm. We support each other. We have calls for support every week where if you've got an Etsy store or what you're doing, Jen, you know, we encourage last week, you came up and said, Hey, I need some more comments on my YouTube channel. I need you guys to go and comment. And I bet you got some comments. I know I did. Me up. Yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, we are, from what I have found, I think the only training and coaching program out there for notaries that encourages collaboration, encourages innovation, and we want to show that off and highlight it. It's not just about me and Bill Soroka and Laura Bewer as co-founders of this group. It's about the group as a whole. Yeah. Um, one of my projects I'm actively working on right now, we were talking about this before we started filming. Yeah. I'm working on an innovator spotlight where I am showing off all of these side projects that notary business builders have. Um, and we're taking it not only to the NNA conference in June and have it playing before and after our three different uh, presentations that we're right. hosting at the NNA conference in Scottsdale, but to any conference we attend. Awesome. So and there will be a loop playing of all of your different, um, you know, side gigs from your notary from business, notary side hustle from our other side hustles. Yeah. Your other side hustle, because it's important to get that, you know, information out there. We've got calendars, we've got different groups, we've got different training programs, different mentors, um, you know, uh, client intake forms, uh, all kinds of stuff. Etsy shops for notary gear, you know, mm -hmm. just really cool stuff. And we're developing a whole marketplace for it. I love it. I, speak. I love it. I do. I, as a, as a member of MBB, a ground level member of MBB, you're one I, of the OGs girl. I'm an OG. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't be do, I would not still be in business if I didn't have MBB as part of my yeah. network of people. Yeah. The encouragement, the, the, even when I was taking a step back, I was in my little burnout phase. I got phone calls and text messages from notaries in our NBB group and from people like you and Laura and Bill, the people who became part of our notary family. You're mm -hmm. not coming into a group and having your, you know, your superstars up here. And then we're all down here. That's not how this works. We are in it together. It's remarkable. And I'm so it's glad we got to talk about it today. Yeah, It's direct access. Yeah to the founders, to the teachers, the faculty members. Um, and like I said, there is no, in, in our, the way we view this anyway, there is no hierarchy, right? Um, we're, we're in this journey together. Some of us are just a little farther along than others. Right. And, you know, every single day we ask ourselves, who can we extend a hand to and help pull up? Uh, who needs that encouragement and support today? And you guys do the same for us because we're human and sometimes we need that. Yeah, yeah we do. Well, I, I'm just excited about all of this. I'm excited about MBB. I can't wait for um, all the up, all the changes are coming and all the new people that are going to get a chance to see it and be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything coming up in your life, in your business, in your world that you want to share with us? Upcoming event. Like I said, the, the Innovator Spotlight has been my baby. Um, I've been thinking about it, rolling it around for about a year. We're actively, Zion, um, who teaches our content calls, is actively working on a website for me with it. It's going to be amazing marketplace for NBB. But we do have some conferences coming up. It's conference season, right? These are kind of all kicking in. And there's one here in Dallas, uh, just a couple weeks, uh, wait, 11 days from now. Oh it's, gosh, yeah. Um, yeah, the Evolve Summit. 
-hmm. And um, you can find that, you can find out more information on my blog actually about it. If you go to signingagentmarketing.com and go to my blog, which is something that anybody can access. You don't have to be a member for that. And it's just in a blog post titled Evolve, pretty easy. There's links there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bill's coming into town. Um, Laura's going to be here. Sure. He's going to be here. We're all hanging out. We're teaching. We've all got new content we're releasing um, that we're going to be talking about. And we're doing a happy hour uh, afterwards. And for any NBB member that comes to the summit on April 15th, they we're taking them out to brunch on Sunday. So it'll be just Bill, Laura, Judy, myself, and any NBB members that attended the conference. Uh, awesome. It's going to be a blast. It's awesome. Yeah. And of course, there's the NNA conference in Scottsdale in June, um, which is I'm just beyond excited about. It's going to be a great conference. And like I said, we get to speak three times, which is a huge honor. At the NNA? At the NNA conference. Yeah. Very, very big honor. That's and <laughs> we are actively working on um, our our speeches and our outlines. We meet once a week about it. And uh, we do have a really cool uh, new program. I don't really want to give away too much right now because we are in the beginning stages, but be on the lookout for some really new trainings coming from NBB in the next Very month sweet. or so, because it's going to blow you away. Awesome. This <laughs> it's going to be an industry changer. I promise you that. That's exciting. This video probably won't be out until May or June, so they won't get the benefit of Dallas. But what I'm gl I'm glad you're sharing it because I think people need to understand that this is we don't just meet in the air. We come together <laughs> as a team. We come together as often as possible. If people are visiting family, I know that you're in California so at sometime in May, right? Yep. And so we do not live in the same state. So when we are in the vicinity of each other, we get together. So I love that you're sharing all the different things that we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I did it with you and Matt Miller. I'm like, Hey, I'm coming to California <laughs> for a, a personal trip, right? Like we're going to wine country. I'm like, you guys want to come meet me for an afternoon? And we spent some time in Modesto together before notary symposium. And it's magic when notaries get together that have the, a like mindset of collaboration and innovation. And that's what we encourage a notary business builder. And it's just magic when you get together. I love it. I love all the fun things. I can't wait to see the new um, courses coming to MBB. That's going to be exciting. It is an industry changer. I, I, am, <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, I am just, um, it's killing me. I can't say anything. <laughs> you can't, don't say anything. We'll, we'll say I'm not, it. I right. promise. But by May, it'll be out. So it'll be fine. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I want to remind everybody that um, I've put together a notary resource page. This resource page has potential to save you between $800 and $1,000 in the best training service platforms and supplies in the business. And all that information will be in the description below. We've talked a lot today about um, how important it is to continue to grow as a notary, but to grow together as a notary. Um, signing your course not, I, don't, I don't know what to call it a course, Jen. Do I call signing Sam a course or Sam? Just self-paced learning okay. um, is what I what I refer to it as because like I said, we've morphed into kind of a self-paced mm -hmm. program with all the different videos and they're categorized in different buckets to help you, you know, kind of follow along. Um, it's, um, it's, it's something that's continually evolving, yeah. but it's really important to me to keep it at an affordable price, especially for new notaries yeah. who have all of the preconceived notions that you and I had coming in, like notaries are competition. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop off this gift and they're going to, I'm automatically going to be their favorite notary. All those things you think in the beginning that actually aren't true. Yeah. I want to keep it as affordable as I possibly can. That's why it's priced at $20 a month. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's just kind of a no brainer. And, and if you have questions about it, you've got me for 30 minutes anytime you want. Yeah. And unless you came from a marketing industry, right. learning how to market your business is important. That's why Sam is important. It is important. NBB, guys, NBB is, you've heard a little bit about today. You're going to hear more about it in the coming months. It is worth every penny. You can spend on it. It's weight in gold. So I really encourage you to look into it, spend some time thinking about it, take advantage of the free year of Tom while you have it. 
um, it's going to really give you some little insights into how this whole thing works and, um, and being part of MBB, you get Jen's course for free. So, right. Yeah. Well, Jen, thanks. a lot of courses and stuff. A lot free. of courses <laughs> that we talked about today. In fact, everybody who's on the resource page, who's offering a contribution, um, contributing to the resource page, you get all of that for free in an MBB. So mm -hmm. it's very exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. It is exciting. We've made sure that we partnered with people who believe the same way we believe that you lead with integrity always yeah. and you're passionate about helping the notary community. And those are the things that all that that's what we have in common as, as faculty members and really as notary business builders. I mean, we all have that in common. Yeah, we do. Well, thank you for sitting down with me today. I know you're getting ready for the NNA and all this and, and the Dallas thing coming up. So I appreciate you taking the time and we are going to, we're going to say goodbye, but good luck with everything that's coming up and we'll see you very soon. Thanks so much for having me, Jen. Bye. I don't know about you guys, but I so love that interview. And I love hearing about Jen's journey into this industry and how signing agent marketing came to be. Of course, if you want to know more about how to join the signing agent marketing team, there's going to be a link down below. However, don't miss your discounts and your other things that come with the resource page because you can get that link in there as well. I'll leave that down below. Remember, that's only $10 and it's going to give you tons of other information from all of the major hitters in our industry. So I'm so glad that you came. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Please remember, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm sure Jen would love to hear from you too. So until next week, take care of yourself and let's keep growing our businesses together. See you later.